<clears throat> hey troops. Um, for some reason, okay. Um, <clears throat> at the end of that last video I just did, I never look up numbers like this. It was 35, 37. It might come up 35, 38. I'm not sure. Just because the previous one was 39, 39 is where it stopped, but it uploaded as 39, 40. But if you actually click on the video, it says 39, 39 and not 39, 40. So I don't know what that's all about. But I, if you guys watch the previous one where it's labeled ready or not, because it's like, even if someone's ready or not, it's like ready or not, you know, but do you remember in the pile over here, we talked about some type of codependency, some type of addiction, some type of overcoming something. Well, I, I had, I had the, um, I had the urge to look up that number and I, I never look up numbers like that troops. Okay. So listen to me. It could, somebody out of that cup could be puking. It, it could be a spiritually, spiritually and eating disorder recovery. Okay. Rediscovering the meaning in chaos. So somebody's life is straight up chaos right now. Okay. Um, but I'm going to tell you what this says because it's, it's not like what you think, okay? Eating disorders represent an emotional and cognitive struggle of some kind. It could be a trauma, low self-esteem, um, poor body image, bullying. Clients, well, I'm going to leave the clip. Well, I'm just going to read it. Clients present many different root causes of certain disorders. A client's spirit can be suffering and tends to have a breakdown in spirituality. One of the most underlining themes is the difficulty managing most uncomfortable feelings. The eating disorder is one that's spiritually and often completing ends. A de uh, eating disorder serves as a coping method. Okay, it's, it's like it, it presents a friend, a confident, a powerful secret, okay, or, or a god that needs to be obeyed. And the eating disorder appears at a time where the client, which would be you guys, where the individual, you know, is needs most right now. So it's like a storm of chaos and fear of inconsistency. The eating disorder swoops in and gives feeling of rescue to an individual that feels temporarily in distress. And I did say something about that particular cloud, okay, looking like a, a shit storm, all right? That's a storm of chaos is what I was feeling and seeing, okay? So it says, it also says, this is just another little subject, it says, Yada yada shares for a while on an individual creating good body and engaging in the eating disorder behaviors restricting or purging. It's it's the inner life being ignored. Okay, no matter how thin a client gets, or no matter how filling they want to binge or external, or if they gain weight. Okay, it's it's a matter of crisis. All right, it it, it feeds and hurts the trauma. It, it's also a wedge. The big question here is about. You know, how is it you can understand your life purpose? Because when something major is going on, it's, and I said, I think someone's trying to find themselves, okay? Certain things, it's like they cannot reach these answers even though they have these feelings. So it's like in, instead of reaching out, this person is either eating, binging, it's something, okay? It's recovery. And it, it's, it's so they don't have to face their pain, okay? Um, it It's explained by many people, you know, that some, some people especially religions and religious religion came out of that. Okay. It's a religious observation and others may feel connected to yoga or nature or nature or meditation, despite of these during these disorders. Okay. Connections where they're feeling lost feelings of unworthiness creep in. Okay. Um, but it's all about finding your purpose and, and becoming who you are. But, it's like someone's replacing something instead of accepting a spiritual connection. Okay, so when people feel like that, it's either a false sense of control, false sense of communication, false sense of not being accepted. Um, it's evidence against yourself, false pursuit of perfection, uh, false identity, false pursuit of approval, false attempt to avoid a person or to avoid responsibility or a false to confront the past, okay? So it's like, it's kind of normal. It's not, and it is. This could be someone overeating or somebody literally binging, like binging and then throwing up, okay? Um, it could have to do with childhood, you know, lack of faith, not wanting to, con you know, deal with the spiritual background that, that's, that's happening here. Um, but this is spiritual and what this is telling me is, you know, 
you got to take care of yourselves, ladies and gents. And with the 39-39, it was all about it was all about trusting yourself and um, believing in yourself. So, and like I said, I got blocked from that, whatever that addiction was. There's definitely an eating disorder here or some type of codependency. And it's ironic that it let me dig this up because that's, that's what that blockage was. But it's a spiritual eating disorder. So you guys might want to look that up. Okay, because this talks about recovery. Okay, so it's like it's only happening because there's something spiritual going on. And it's like you felt like you were lacking a friend or, or didn't know any other way to deal with chaos. So it, it was like supple supplemented, you know. It's so ironic. But um, whoever's in that situation, I, I truly, truly wish you the best. Um but it's, it's also you not going after that in a piece when you know you can find it or deliver it. So, and I, I did talk about earlier, I feel like somebody hasn't found themselves. And it's like, by saying that, it's, it's correct. But at the same time, I feel horrible because it's like that person that didn't find themselves is still sitting in this some, some type of trauma. Um, but it's... It's like finding your purpose and someone's just struggling and it's, it's horrible. So please, um, please look this up and please know that this is, this is, it's not in your head. Okay. Um, but it is, it's in your head. It, this can be solved. It's not one of those things where it's like you need to be hospitalized. It's, this is just somebody who supplemented something temporarily if this has been happening for years obviously consult a doctor okay but this is something as, as soon as it's like trying to find your purpose um but it's avoiding spirituality it's a path avoiding a situation past outcomes and and that's been on my board and it's kind of like as soon as things come together and you recognize it and, and you reach out and, and do what it is certain things that people need to do that's that should help. This is when all this stops. I, it, it, I, it makes it sound like it just stops, but it's once you confront whatever it is you're you're avoiding. Okay, so please do some research. Um, please Google thirty nine thirty nine yourself. And this was spiritually an eating disorder recovery. Okay, because you're in that recovery, and like I said, that person was was recovering. But it didn't give me the whole story. And I'm looking at 1212. 12. I'm not quite that. It just brought me there. So yeah, 3557. 30, but it, like again, it, it might show up 3558. I'm not sure. But just know that it came up that way. Um, the 1212, 12, that's kind of like, um, I've had that one plenty of times. It's a growth. It's an awakening. It's, it's manifesting dreams into awareness. Okay, you should continue to remain positive. She had thoughts, go in a new direction. Let go of um, dominant, um, well, this talks about dominant ambition, but also letting go of what, you know, no longer serves you. There's different meanings. I normally don't look up this one, but I'm kind of being pulled to this one. Um, you are on track, even if you don't feel like you are, but you got to stay positive. Okay. And it's all about the power of your thoughts right now. Okay. Um, what to do next when you see 1212, 12, you know, um, stay confident in, your, in yourself and, and connect with who you need to connect with and especially your heart. Okay. Look at the bigger picture, help others. If you can help others, service them if you need to, but yet stay humble at the same time, never stop focusing on co-creating to making your situation better, make new connections, use your gifts. Okay. So again, it's like somebody who's avoiding the whole spiritual realm. You know, so you are better off is basically what they're saying, like-minded friends, the unity of a like-minded friend, okay? You know, surround yourself with people who have the same beliefs right now, okay, um, instead of fighting them. So a lot of work to be done, a lot of awareness that was just brought to the table. 
I love you guys. Enjoy your day. Okay. I will see you guys tomorrow. I love you guys so much. It's okay. And um, hang in there for whomever's in that situation. All right. Lots of love. Lots of light being sent towards you. Okay. Love you guys. Bye.